Today we are going to be making some lightweight grits. And this is a bit of a departure from our other cooking shows we've done. We're going to take a step away from the bulk rationing system used on most Knowles courses. For lightweight cooking, we'll do a little more prep on the front end. We have some instant grits. A mix, it's equal parts almonds, cashews, and sunflower seeds. We're gonna pre-mix our spices. We've got some pepper, salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. We also have Fritos. Fritos are a great way to add calories without adding a lot of weight. We also like them because they only contain corn, oil, and salt. We're gonna have some bacon bits, some Parmesan cheese, and also some jalapenos to kick it up a notch. We're gonna take all these ingredients and put them in a food processor and grind them up, and that'll give us a big bulk amount of food that we're then gonna weigh out on a postal scale into our individual meals for the trip. We have the grits mix that we prepared in the kitchen. And we have our stove here. Today we are going to be cooking using denatured alcohol. You'll notice it's a lot smaller than the typical one liter bottles that you bring for a typical stove. And the stove itself is also a little bit different. You can see there's a construction with a Red Bull can inside of a Diet Coke can and then there are holes punched in the side. We are going to be using five eighths of an ounce of fuel and that'll give us just enough to boil the water. And we're going to be cooking today on a caldera cone cooking system which is uh, made by Trail Designs. So we're going to be using um, roughly half a cup of water to cook today. And you won't actually see the flame like you would with a white gas stove, but you can definitely feel that heat coming off. We're just going to let that sit until the water boils. Uh, it takes just under 10 minutes. This is a homemade pot cozy. You can make this out of uh, insulite. There's a lot of different materials you can use. Once we have boiling water and add the grits, we're just going to take our pot and put it right in the koozie and that will allow it to stay insulated and hot and actually continue cooking without needing more fuel. We also brought along some mashed potatoes. If you go a little overboard on your water, you can add some potatoes uh, to help act as a thickening agent. And they're nice and salty and savory, so they won't uh, compete with the flavor of the grits at all. When you're cooking on titanium, it doesn't disperse heat that evenly. So if you are doing um, a little bit of extra cooking, it's good to stir while you have it on the, the stove. Okay. We're just gonna let that sit and rehydrate for a couple minutes. With ultralight cooking, we're not actually cooking on the stove. We're primarily boiling water so that we can rehydrate our food. It's also one of the reasons why we use instant grits. Um, less cooking time, less fuel, and less weight. Dun, dun. Oh yeah. So this is about what we've got going on here. Perfect consistency. Mm. That's pretty much perfect grits as far as I can tell. Mm. Yeah, great flavor. Jalapenos add a little bit of spice. Bacon bits are always nice. I am sweating. <laughs> We're just gonna give the crew a taste here. Mm, I like that. I've had a lot of the lightweight recipes, that one's good. Yeah. Mm, man, those grits are good. <laughs> this is true grits. <laughs> Delicious. Right. Spicy. <laughs> I like it. You're kind oh. of hogging it, Kyle. You get a shot of this. You have some in your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that back. <laughs> Either one is okay. It's good. Show. 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 Show.